King David was beset with grief. He prayed to God for deliverance from his seeming never-ending hardships and afflictions. His greatest agony, though, was the seeming absence of God. He had the impression that God had abandoned him. Have you ever felt that way? As though God had forgotten about you? Perhaps you do now. If this is the case, you are not alone in your emotions. How long, Lord? Will you utterly forget me? This was David's questions in his prayer. The psalm also mentions enemies, implying that some may have wanted evil on the psalmist as well. And he deserved God's reprimand for it. Does that sound familiar to you? How long, Lord? Will you forget me further? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts? And day after day I have sorrow in my heart. How long will my enemy triumph over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God, enlighten my eyes. Or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say, I have overcome him. And my adversaries will rejoice when I am shaken. But I have trusted in your loving kindness. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. When it comes to picking a marriage partner, some of us have a lot of leeway. Others are not so lucky. They lack flexibility, either due to the circumstances that drove them to do so, or because they were desperate to be perceived as married. And while some of these people are undoubtedly grateful for their partners, Others struggle in relationships that are consistently troublesome. As Psalm 13 indicates, they have sorrow in their hearts. My excellent friend said that when he thinks of relationships, the first term that springs to mind is suffering. He is not alone in his feelings. The most heartbreaking thing is wanting to leave that relationship forever, but lacking the strength to do so. The more you stay in the relationship to make things right, the more intense the difficulties get. Even if you had the courage to leave, the fear of being labeled a failure haunts you. If you did not receive initial support for the union, there will be some people waiting to hear something unpleasant about the marriage, so that they can easily gossip and spread the news. These are some of the circumstances that cause the psalmist to refer to some as enemies encircling him. You now perceive a great chasm between yourself and the Lord. But believe me when I say God's unchanging love today will change your sorrows to love. You may find that the following prayer gives expression to what you're experiencing these days in your relationship if things are not going well. In the pit of despair, what did the psalmist do? He consoled himself by remembering who God is his faithfulness and reminding himself of his salvation, for which he praised God. This heartfelt prayer passes on a statement to all of us of unwavering trust, which reinforces the prayer's power and a vow of gratitude for when deliverance comes, which it did. Because when God is involved, victory always comes. If you are in a good situation, however, pray this prayer for others who are desperate for God's help. Now pray with me. How long, Lord, how long, indeed? You see me in this union. You feel my pain and discouragement. Yet here I am, stuck. Without relief, and without hope. How long, Lord? The worst thing about not sensing your heart and hand, Father, is that we're left to the shallow waters of our own counsel and the voices of mockers and haters. I thought you said Jesus was enough. Where's your mighty and merciful God now? Didn't you tell me God wouldn't give you too much? Father, we don't want the voices of darkness to prevail. We don't want our suffering to sabotage our trust in your sovereignty. Come, Lord. Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Now, my faith tells me you have not forgotten me. But, honestly, right now, it feels like you have forgotten me. It really does. I know that you have not hidden your face from me. Yet I wonder how you can look at me and not help. I need your deliverance, Lord. I don't know where else to turn. Oh Lord, help me to trust in your unfailing love, 
even when I'm discouraged, even when I feel so alone. Save me, Lord, so that I may rejoice in your salvation. Allow me to taste your goodness so my heart might praise you again. Amen. Ponder throughout the day. No matter what you face in your work today, you can put your trust in God's unfailing love. For further reflection, read all of Psalm 13. Paying attention to what the Spirit of God is stirring up in your heart, especially in relation to your marriage or relationship. Talk with God about what you are thinking and feeling. You might also reflect on the following passage from Hebrews. For we do not have a high priest, who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who, in every respect, has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in times of need. Hebrews 4.15-16 May you receive a miraculous sign about today prayers from now. Amen. Please subscribe and share to other platforms. To encourage us pray with you always. Thanks.